I remember when we made Cop Out, then called a couple of Dick. Um, day one of shooting the movie, that was when Bruce Willis liked me. Uh, day one. We had worked together on Live Free or Die Hard, leading up to the start of a couple of dicks. He was very enthusiastic. Um, when we started, day one was at a, a diner. We, the scene's not even in the finished film. We wound up reshooting the beginning with uh, the interrogation scene instead. So the original scripted uh, scene took place in a diner, and Paul and Jimmy are talking to each other, and, and uh, Tracy Morgan's character gives Bruce Willis's character a birthday card. That still existed and stuff. So we sit down to shoot. Sorry if this is going to be a boring story, but no, how's no. it? Trust me. Um, we sit down to, to shoot, and, you know, Tracy is a ad-libbing genius. Uh, he's very funny, as we all know, Tracy Morgan. And you can't turn him off once you turn him off. So going into the movie, like before day one, I said, we got a great script, Tracy. You got to stick to the script, man. It's an amazing script. So like day one, like make sure you know the script and, and stuff. He's like, I will. So day one, we go to shoot. We're at a diner. And first take, wide shot. There's two of them at the table. If you ever see a picture of me on set smiling with Bruce Willis, it was from day one. It's from this before the rest of the show occurred. So we go in for the first take and Tracy is on book completely, you know, like honoring the script, which was written by the Cullen brothers and was a, a, a what do they call that? The black book script or whatever for blacklist oh, it was black blacklist. Book script a couple of dicks was yeah um and then i got it and we turned it into fucking a couple of dicks um so we're there we are and tracy's doing exactly what i asked him to and he's doing the script he talks first then bruce starts talking and bruce is gazing out the window and looking at passerby in character as his character jimmy and Tracy's talking, doing the scripted lines. And all of a sudden, Bruce starts going like, is that, is that Connie Chung out there? I think that's Connie Chung. Uh, Connie Chung, of course, yeah. newswoman, yeah. Um, for yeah. those who don't remember. So, you know, Tracy, I see Tracy just kind of look and go like, yeah, I don't know. And then go back to the dialogue. Then, 40 seconds later, Bruce goes, is that Maury Povich? God damn, I think that's Maury Povich. Now, they were at that point married, I think, or had been married. I don't know if they still are, Connie Chung and Maury Povich. They were a couple. So I was like, how weird. And so much so that I looked out the window going, is Connie Chung and Maury Povich out there? <laughs> then Bruce ad libbed a Yoda line, did the voice of Yoda. And suddenly it all crystallized for me. All of Bruce Willis's pop cultural references stop when Bruce Willis gets famous. So up until, you know, moonlighting, he was paying attention to pop culture. Yeah. From moonlighting forward, or probably Die Hard, he was pop culture. Right. And he stopped paying attention. So I, I remember sitting there that day going like, man, all those references are old. To, to his, I mean, to be fair, after the first take, Tracy Morgan pulls me aside and he goes, Bruce is ad-libbing. I was like, yeah, I saw that. And he goes, well, I'm going to live now. And I said, okay. And Tracy, that morning when I had seen him before we started shooting the scene, Tracy comes up to me and he goes, Kev, you know what I did last night? I said, what? He goes, I watched Frankenstein. I said, the old one? He goes, yeah, man, Frankenstein. He's like, you know what? You know who's the worst character, the one who gets treated the worst in Frankenstein? Fritz. He's going, Fritz is always getting shit. And he did a 20-minute bit on Frankenstein, the movie, and particularly Fritz. Fritz. So <laughs> after Bruce ad-libbed on that first take, we're doing another take, and Tracy goes, I'm going to ad-lib now. And I said, you know what? He, he pulled the pin, so feel free. Ad-lib all you want. We start the take again. You know, he's Tracy's doing the scripted lines. You know, happy birthday, Jim. We've been doing it for years. Here's a card, blah, blah, blah. Bruce looking out the window, and he goes, is that Connie Chung out there? He starts his his ad living again. And instantly, Tracy, without missing a beat, goes, Yo, Jim, you know what I watched last night? Frankenstein. <laughs> and he proceeds 
to do the 20 minute fucking bit that he had done for me for Bruce. Yeah. You know, and I was like, I guess he tested it on me and fucking sprung it on Bruce. Now, during that take, I watched Bruce Willis' face sink. And what I thought on that day was I felt like we were judged. Me and Tracy were judged. Like that he was like, this is the kind of movie I signed up for where he's going to talk about fucking Frankenstein. Oh, and that was that. That was so that. I, from, from, from the next take where I was sitting next to him at the monitor and we watched him playback. First take, he was all smiles. Second, and there's a photo of it to prove it online. Second take we watch, he was this. And he goes, he's going to have me. How are we going to follow the script? And I'm like, well, you ad libbed first. And, and, you know, this is what Tracy loves to do. And what I realized in retrospect is that dude was terrified on day one because oh, okay. he sat across from one of the greatest yeah. comedic minds of our time, one of the fastest ad libbers. He don't go for the low hanging fruit. He's fucking talking about Fritz and Franken. You know how deep cuts that fucking is? And you know how funny you have to be in order to make a fucking 56 year old bit work? <laughs> 